What's up guys, and welcome back to my Dark Souls 3 item randomizer run. It is time to go shoot arrows at the Abyss Watchers. <sighs> As I was so incredibly lucky with my <clears throat> weapon selection. Anyway, yeah, at the end of last time I was kind of despairing on uh, how I got a farm for a souls to buy upgrade materials and then, then, then upgrade the bow and then buy some more arrows. But actually, yeah, this is plus three already, so I don't need uh, normal titanite shards anymore, not a single one. And I think I still have large ones decently enough. Yeah, I have eight of them, so I should be able to get this to plus five without actually gaining any extra souls, so... Let's do exactly that. It doesn't look like it'll get a massive damage boost though, so... Ha! Shit! It's not all that expensive. I mean, soul-wise to upgrade, but I wouldn't like to waste the titanite. Oh, what the hell. Let's just take the upgrades. And then with the rest some arrows. And I still should have that one consumable soul, yeah. Soul of the Old Demon King, which I can just use and get more souls from that to buy more oh, arrows yeah. with. It took some prowling. Go. So, did you sell arrows? I must admit I do not even remember. You do. Okay, so this would be 10 each, 50 and 100, okay? Goodbye. I'll just see for the uh, shrine handmaid or whatever you were, that you were. If you have different prizes. Uh, wood would be five. Feather. Okay, so you sell completely different arrows. Okay. Well, wood would be inexpensive, but I guess I'll go with the normal standard arrows. Oh, oh in one piece. So let's... Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Of course, there's the limit of 99 per arrow type, so there's a chance this might become a problem, but hopefully 99 arrows should be enough. I mean, it's just the Abyss Watchers, it's not like a late game boss or anything, it should be fine. So let's just make our way there. Ignoring every single enemy, I do not want to pick up anything before fighting the boss, so let's do this. Already off to a great start, getting hit once in the, on the way, but uh, well, I'll make it work somehow. And of course, yeah, if I do run out of arrows, then I do have the shield too, to bash with. Okay, yeah, that's definitely enough. Judging by the damage on the first phase, but of course the second one will will take less damage. Okay, so the second one of these got up. Yeah, I'm really really staying still for a long time after each shot, so I have to try to play around, work around that somehow. And yeah, of course, I can get two types of arrows, so... So, so, if I do feel 99 isn't enough, I don't need all that much souls to get the 99 of, like, the wooden ones. Here we go again. Alright! Dark Souls 3 has this... This, this, like, rolling attack. I mean, uh, shooting an arrow right after a dodge. <laughs> also, I suppose I don't really do anything with FP in this fight, so if I feel my Estus isn't enough, I suppose it would be smart have one more normal Estus 
instead of one of the Ashen Estus that I have. Okay, so there's the one that will actually target the enemies. That's good for me. I thought I had to that. <laughs> oh boy! Two on one again. Not anymore. Uh, just in case, I guess I could and uh, could and should pick my souls before the second phase. Not in. I'm not sure if I really do anything with them <laughs> during the fight, and I'm not sure, yeah, if I'm gonna leave with them any better from the second phase than this one. I have no idea what I'm saying, I'm just trying to dodge attacks here while shooting at them, but that's pretty normal. And the first phase goes down, then let's see how difficult this will be. This cutscene, I guess I actually could see all the way through. I just noticed, noticed that dagger, or whatever, on his leg, really, really, on his waist, leg, thigh, really, really doesn't line up with the scabbard, I guess you could say, is the word. Okay, yeah, should be no problem with the amount of arrows I have, just gotta, you know, not fuck up in general. I think even the delay after an arrow is shorter with the, you know, rolling shot. So I probably should use those. And of course I could like try to optimize my damage and go for headshots and all and aim manually, but that stuff for play that's that stuff is for players who actually know how to play the game. <laughs> As you can see, not for me. So yeah, I'm already well, out of Estus, but I suppose I can use an Ember for a single heal if I need to end get a chance. It's just that those two things don't happen at the same time as often as I'd like. There we fucking go. I guess I'll do that Estus switch right away before trying again. So here we go again.
my red-eyed friend was quite nice this time around. But where are you now? I'll get it. There we go. Let's see if I could get a cheeky... No, I could not. <laughs> a cheeky head... Head stab, I was gonna say. <laughs> I wish. Headshot. Oh dear god, the <laughs> lingering flame killed me. I keep fucking up with the uh, long range stab attack. 53 arrows, uh, I might run out of them during the fight, but... Actually, yeah, I might run out of them during the fight. I'll kill a couple of screws and... Get back to buying more and then try again. I suppose it would be smarter to wait for the dark wraiths to actually kill some enemies. But I'm not sure if you get souls from that. You do. Case closed, that's already. 60 more arrows.
Ooh, almost lost my cool there a couple of times, but hey! Victory is a victory. Cinders of a lord and a seek brow. <laughs> oh, long may the sun shine or whatever Siegward likes to say. And 30, uh, 33,000 souls. Which is not all that shabby, I suppose. Okay, so before I go into the catacombs, I guess I should do something with the souls. Probably. Easily at least one level up. And then upgrade materials would be uh, an understandable choice, at least. But let's see, okay, it is actually just one. Well, I think my dexterity will be fine for a while, at least. I suppose if I take 16 strength, then technically I have like 24 and 26 strength and dexterity. If I do hand my weapon, and that does open up quite a nice amount of weapons, I think. So yeah, I guess I'll do that. And... It would be smart to get strength to like 20-ish. And then maybe concentrate on vigor and endurance, but... I don't know, I'm just making shit. Making shit up as I go on, uh, go on, anyway. So... Extra arrows wouldn't hurt either, but I suppose I should grab some soul, I mean, great materials, as I said. Yeah, let's go with that. And since I only have 200-ish left, I'll just grab... Well, I grab arrows with the rest. Goodbye. I just remembered. Never mind. I guess they maybe were a standard arrows that I got in the last episode. <laughs> Never mind, I thought I had some like fire arrows or something somewhere, but I did not. Gaining admission to the Okay, I thought you would say something after killing them. Oft the ah. Lords of Cinder, the undead legion. So that's how I pity the sorry souls. And uh, yeah, I, I get something, I guess. For helping them find their final resting place. Thank you. <laughs> I pity this. For this alluring school. And Aegon seems to have uh, visited too. I just dropped in to see now. This could be. Yeah, yeah. Cesspool of degenerates. She fits right in, blah blah blah. I have not taught her scary bad miracles. So without further ado, I suppose to the catacombs we go. So okay, making it through the catacombs and then I guess, before fighting Volnir, I'll try to check out the... I was gonna say Lost Isolith, but that's like, almost correct. Small Dream Lake. I think it was sent to Demon Ruins there. Because, if possible, I'll try to grab a Sorcery Scroll. Also, just in case you are not aware, you can kinda skip the entire early section of the catacombs by just dropping down from here and you can easily get down to that area there with one of those skeletons and yeah, there's basically just one of those archer skeletons there They're desperately trying to, trying to shoot at me right now, but anyway, well, even on casual playthroughs I do like to do like to pick up at least some of the items so I Usually, don't skip areas like that. I just thought I'd mention. And I think these guys come back once, and then they actually stay down. It might actually be safer and easier to use my shield to hit these guys with. And I'm guessing my... Maiden skirt. I'm guessing my bow will probably get replaced pretty soon. 
Also, I think Anri should be there looking for Horus in that hallway doorway there on the right. But I'll make my way there soon. I'll try to parry this guy just because I have never parried him before. Never mind. I'm bad and a loser. And a coward on top of that. Fire Cestus plus two. Caestus Cestus. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna two hand these bad boys. And I guess these guys being undead, well, generally, I'd say. Enemies are often weak to fire if they are undead, but I guess like they might just be weak to blessed weapons. I don't fucking know. Except blessed damage isn't a, a thing. Oh! That guy actually fell down. Also, Perseverance with this weapon too, meaning instant poise. Poise and absorption. Which does really help with the short range. Bale Shade Trousers. And because I don't remember. White hair talisman plus two, okay. Back to using the shield it is. Because I don't remember the entire layout of the area, I might kinda run around a little finding items. A masterful walking into a trap. Oh, I think the guy is actually like stabbing me with the arrow, like you can do in Blackboard with the silence bowblade, I think. That's kinda cool. Fire Zweihander? This is welcome. This is death. I suppose the weapon itself is pretty cool, but uh, not having upgraded it once kind of does eat at its usefulness to me right now, but it's better than nothing. Well, there goes my souls that I had, but I suppose it wasn't a whole lot. And this just took me here, okay, I just wanted to whoop, make sure that I don't leave any items behind by skipping that path. But I don't remember there being anything on the floor here, so I'll just try to avoid <clears throat> these guys. There's something in the dead end there, but I'll try to just outrun these guys for a second. And yeah, see that Anri is indeed here. I'm not sure if the skeletons will leave me alone. Okay, the crystal lizard fell. I'm not sure if that gives me an item or not. It does, yeah. <laughs> it does, yes. It indeed does. And there goes with that follower armor. But I got the Miraha West, and then I'll run straight to Anri. I. Guess I'm not being followed this time, that's good. Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion? Oh, to my shame, I was snared by a trap and I've not been able to find him. Yes, I see. I have I not seen him. Horace just it yet. That and Anri should move further into the catacombs. Though I guess she might actually move further even if I don't talk to her here. I might be mistaken, but 
Anyway. Something sneering mask. I guess I still do have the pale shade trousers, so... Oh. They are from the same set. Soul of the Nameless King. That's kinda cool. Let's see if I can dodge. I'm trying to save this for special, oca special occasions from now on. <laughs> that one deserved it. Was meant to dodge the rolling ball, but I guess I only dodged the staircase. Anyway, now that I got the items from the first part of the area, I guess I can actually demonstrate this path too. I don't think there's any items you can pick up while falling down these steps, but... Oh, okay, there was another skeleton too, but still nothing major. And yeah, I did pick up the item from there, so I just have to avoid the ball. Uh, I kinda hoped I wouldn't have gotten... Just in case I'll wear this until the ball is destroyed. So let's take out this guy. That's not how you do that though, but at least this time that skeleton got hit. I'm not sure if it was my... Ring of the Evil Eye that actually saved me there, because I gained health right when I was about to die, I think. Or I would have survived hanging by a thread. Anyway, the mage guy was killed and I get to destroy the ball. Netting me sunset gauntlets, and then I guess I'll just press on through this area here. I'll come back for the item soon. Some there on the right. Here's a trap that I'll activate just in case someone might try run into it. But maybe not. And the same deal here, but I kinda doubt it. Not a really cooperative trap. Then I should be fine if I just run through fast here. Yep. And not get hit by the ball. And the bonfire is lit. I could rest, but oh well. It's not all that important, I guess. I'll respawn here anyway if I die. And I suppose the ball might actually take care of that guy. Yeah. And something from here. Eight refined gems, okay. That's pretty nice. If I want to infuse some of my weapons later on, which I assume I probably will. Uh, I guess I could try to get these guys killed by the ball. Or, you know, this works. I'm on the other side, I can now with that. Then, Poison Onikiri and Uda Ubarachi. I guess that was one way to get to the other side, past those guys. Anyway, I can even one-hand this, so that's cool. But I think my rules did state that two-handing when possible. These are another weapon that I've kinda wanted to use, but I never have. I mean, I have equipped them, unlike the Tornado Sword, but... Or whatever the sword. Storm Curved Sword. But yeah, I haven't actually really used these. But let's see... I think uh, those jars that are slightly lighter actually cause stuff to... Never mind. <clears throat> it was not a straight 
hint which ones have those dark orbs coming at you and which ones don't. But I think that was the only item from there, perhaps, maybe. So I guess onward we go. Onward can mean several things. I mean, I guess I could just jump down right away. Since there is something to be found in the dead end. And I don't see the big guys anywhere nearby. Uh, never mind, they are right there. And some wheel skeletons too, as should be. Well, I'll just run. Hope for the best. Grab stuff. Titanite chunks. This is excellent. Because that means that... And yeah, even two of them. That's actually even better. Uh, that means that when I do get a plus six weapon, either straight from the item pool or by upgrading, I can upgrade it to plus seven, which should mean that I can once again get better stuff from, you know, straight from the randomizer pool. I might be dying. Unless I pull out my awesome ninja moves. Alright, oh, of course I could have been using the ball too. And there we go. A single homework bone. Which I think might actually be the first one of this playthrough. I might of course be mistaken too. I might have used one earlier but... Oh well, Red Tearstone Ring. Well that's... A handy timing considering my current HP. <sighs> oh these actually have bleed, I didn't even know to be honest. Well then, I mean, I could, maybe even should, try to press R, but again, the HP that I currently have is not the greatest. Let's see if I could backstab this guy. I cannot. I shall run like a coward and ignore this guy. Actually, you might run through the floor there. Or you won't, and I get hit. Okay, since I died, I guess I'll go up the stairs. Near where I died. Because I think that's a dead end. Yeah, it has to be. And up here we are. I guess I'll just kill the... Never mind. I completely forgot about that guy. I kinda doubt skeletons can eat, bleed or be poisoned. And also, yeah, crystal something parma. Which does not block a whole lot of physical damage, apparently. By some stroke of luck, I'm still alive. Champion's Bones! 
Oh, I guess I can. On the luck of the PDP arena now. I won't do a whole lot with it though. Yay! Magic shield. Sorcery. Then just making sure I didn't leave anything. Anything else behind. Then let's see. Could I maybe even kill the lizard? Yeah, this is what I meant by him maybe falling through the... The, the, the... Okay, five cookies. The wall. How about backstepping this guy? Can I please just backstep someone? Thank you. Profuse uh, sweat. I can relate to that sometimes when I'm recording. And in general. Uh, there the shortcut is opened. Uh, Night Slayer Sonic would normally invade you here, but I'm not sure if he will this time around. Eastern Helm, because, yes, we have... I shall pick plus one. Well, I don't meet the intelligence requirement for that, sadly. And Unreal's up there again. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, since I do play with Steam offline, then it could be that... Sonic wouldn't invade me either. Let's see if I was too late with this. Nah, I think I was fine. I was not fine. I was almost fine. But that was a lot of skeletons dead. So I could just go straight to Volunir, but as said, I do want to try to find a, one of those sorcery scrolls if possible. I mean, again, it doesn't really matter if Orbex stays at Firelink Shrine. Oh right, this was one way only, shit. But, you know, I don't want him not there either. Also completely unrelated to everything previously, uh, I've noticed lately there's been some playthroughs of a new Dark Souls 1 mod called the Daughters of Ash or something like that. I haven't actually checked it out like at all, I only noticed the Nexus page, I didn't really browse through it. And to be honest I don't even want to be spoiled too much in case I ever do playthrough. Uh, do a playthrough with it. But anyway, yeah, that was actually kind of my point. I might try it out sometime. If one of you is familiar with it, then please, I would appreciate some opinion, opinions on it. Does it seem like, sound like something you might be interested in seeing? And also there's the Prepare to Die Again mod, and also the Rekindled mod, which can be, you know, played together, I believe. Haunted Legion Armor. Yeah, I haven't touched those mods for Dark Souls 1 either, and I do plan to eventually. Raw Small Leather Shield plus 3, I think that was. Ah, uh, there's that Mimic chest up above, but I'm not too confident about me being able to kill it right now. With the skeletons on my tail and the weapon being what it is. Mainly me being un un unable to use it. But anyway, who knows, my next playthrough after this one might be something Dark Souls 1 related once again. That game just seems to pull me towards it again and again. But this is the Smoldering Lake. And I think there might have been an item following this path, there was not, never mind. Let's dodge some ballista. Ammo. I guess they are technically arrows, but... I'm not sure. Lightning Red Halberd plus one, well, hmm. That would be a weapon. Which I maybe could use to kill the demon. 
with the demon and the mimic. I'll at least give it a shot quick. Yeah, that was not a whole lot of damage, actually. Doable? Sure, I guess. Do I wanna? No, I guess not. Let's see how the Mimic would go. Ah! Without the Demon, Probably doable with the demon kind of a bitch. Oh! The Mimic actually aggroed. They're killing each other. I mean, well, it was pretty one sided, but you know. The Mimic is dead. <laughs> Firelink armor. How fitting considering this attack. Well, then, since it's. Relatively stress free fighting this guy now, I guess I could. Never mind. It's really, really difficult pulling this on quickly with the headphones on. <laughs> I'll just grab my souls quick. And since there's a bonfire nearby, I'll. Oh, just visit the Firelink Shrine quick and oh, use all the souls on upgrade materials, probably one large and the rest small ones, and then just warp back. And back at the smoldering lake we are. I could just beeline it to the bonfire, but I could also try to grab some of the items around here first. Murky long stuff plus one. Well, it's... Ha! Ah. Certainly not the best melee weapon for me. Uh, I don't remember right now if there is a ring behind this wall yet, or is it one of those New Game Plus or New Game Plus 2 things? Okay, there is. Sloth's Gauntlets. Also meant to say about the worm. I think you are like meant to go through the ruins and you know kinda... Okay, that hit me. Okay, I suppose it's hitting water. Uh, I assume you're meant to like go through the ruins and end up behind it, but if you just run past it then yeah, you can just run past it and reach the bonfire, so I could really make it to the uh, bonfire closer to the old demon ki king really quickly if I wanted to. But I suppose there is no real burning reason for that right now. I'll try to grab that one item from near him though. Firebomb! Meaning, yeah, pass here. Well, since I already made it this far, I might as well try and go activate the bonfire too. Assuming I won't suddenly die or something. Xanthus Ashes. And said bonfire. And also I guess I could be a cheap coward and let the ballista deal with the worm too. I'm not sure if you're like meant to let the ballista kill the worm or you're meant to fight it. But I will admit that I have basically never actually fought it. Because if you just stand here behind this rock... Well, yeah. You can see what's happening 
when the worm is kind of wriggling around and the ballista shots are coming. And there goes the worm. I usually have to... Five souls of an unknown traveler. I usually have to adjust my position here a little. Usually one of those... One of the blasts actually does hit me. So, huh. I was actually kind of lucky to hit that, that spot there. Uh, was there anything up here? I guess not. Huh. Had a feeling there might have been, but... Mistaken again. Black Hand Hat. Made in hood. I'll let the other shots hit the tree. Nine repair powders. And I guess I'll go check out check on Horus too, though I don't think I'll actually be killing him right now. Uh, could you guys run through the walls too? I think you could, but you don't actually fall anywhere. Fall as in die, but I might be mistaken. Old Sage's blindfold. And then trying to run you against the wall too. I mean I guess this stuff has a range, so <clears throat> Well let's say weapon. Sadly I'm not gonna <laughs> I don't have the stats for it and I Really, I'm not gonna hit that for the strength either. Since yeah, it's a paired weapon, I can't do handy. I don't think I've actually ever looked at these, looked at the weapon like this. You know, having both of them on my back. Let's see if it'll just get replaced right away. I guess not. Well, hello there, Horus. Will you, or will you not <clears throat> take any damage from my hits? Twenty-five. I take that as a no. How about a heavy attack? I think you like. Okay, it's a overhead bash. Like sure, once again. Diamond patience, but fuck that. I did not expect the weapon art there. Well, I suppose I can do the same that I did with the crystal lizards. Except I'm really running out of Estus and he's coming for me, but he whiffs. Ah, for fuck's sake, I'll just grab some items. See if I find a weapon that I could use. I guess the game is hinting at actually using firebombs at him. And I have gotten more of them lately, so I guess I actually could use them. Yeah. 
What a waste, but Horace is a dead and I get scared of prey. I'm looking quite caster-like. The huge ass weapons don't really match the <laughs> spell casting aesthetic though. I think there's still some items to be found here on the surface. Surface too, but I'll make it down to the ruins. And try to grab the bonfire there too. So let's try to get one of those things to hit here. There we go. And I feel shit. I'm not sure which is the right way. Ah, uh, yeah, I think the lizard is this way. Yeah. So I'll just deal with him quick. Well, there we go, Black Knight Sword plus two, which I can two hand. And I think the Black Knight weapons actually did some extra damage to, damage to demons, so I could actually use it maybe against the against the demon there somewhere in the catacombs. Ring of Favor. I think that has to unequip the Ring of Favor and put... Actually, I'm not sure. It may or may not have replaced the Ring of Favor plus two that I had on. But let's check it in a second. I'll just try to survive first. Alright, I am still out of Estus. Well, I can rest at the bonfire, so... I'll just take the easy way out. Anyway. Well, okay, the Ring of Favor plus two would have gotten replaced anyway, so... No problems there. That's excellent. Anyway. I reached this bonfire and I suppose this here could be a fine place for me to quit too, so... So, so, so. Next time, trying to find more items here in the demon ruins, getting the demon. I still haven't gone up to open that one chest in ha Lothric Highwall. I remembered it between these last two episodes. Uh, the one near the Sail Key. The normally has to like Anri's sword or something. Anyway, maybe one day I'll remember to get to that too. But hey, next time. Probably some more progression, probably reaching Irithyll even. But we'll see what happens. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys sometime maybe. Bye!